Today we're going to Aqaba, second in command, Mr. Hagop Turinian. Okay, you're most welcome, all of you. Today we're going to Aqaba, RJ304. It's Embraer 195, Echo Mike Bravo. Our airplane at North 03, going will be 40 minutes, level 180. Coming back will be 30 minutes, level 170. Okay. Uh, today for our flight, uh, for door operation, cockpit door will be closed all the time. If you want to enter the cockpit via the enter phone, make sure area behind you is clear and the curtain is closed. Uh, if you want to open any door, please triple check it is disarmed. Okay? And uh, also I would like to emphasize on the teamwork, uh, keep the communication open. If you see or hear anything abnormal in the back, please let us know. In case of turbulence, I will set the fasten seat left on and Ms. Amar will do the announcement. If it's more of a threat, I'll contact you to be crew, please take your seat. You take your, you take care of your seats uh, for your uh, safety. Do you have anything to add, Mr. Hago? Not really, thank you. Girls, do you have any questions? Thank you. Enjoy the flight to the max, it's going to be a great flight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you on board. Thank you, it's us. our pleasure to invite so, you. Thank you. Thank you. أجاي لأجاك 86000 راح يكون عنا والليمتد باي لاندنج وي 37A 5240 اوكي قوي 3.8 راح يكون عنا على 180 مش راح يختلف 3.8 والرجعة عنا نياتا اوكي قد سو 3.1 أفرين في غنوة هناك راح يكون Good morning guys, I'm Captain Dima Saber, Royal Jordanian Airlines. Today I'm going to fly you to Aqaba uh, among with my uh, dear uh, second in command, Mr. Hagop Turinian. Good morning. <laughs> Aqaba is one of my favorite destinations. Why? Because it's a challenging airport. You have high terrain. Also, um, there's no radar at the airport. And we're going to fly at a relatively low altitude. So you get to see the beautiful Jordan from above. With this beautiful today, we have a nice visibility. So, Mr. Hago, you're going to fly us back? Yeah. I'm going to fly you back, and Captain Dima is going to fly you to Aqaba. I'm also going to walk you around the airplane to show it to you in Aqaba. We're going to enjoy it, we're going to have fun, and you will love it, we're guys. We're going to have fun. Let's, Let's go. enjoy it. Let's go.
updated uh, 86 Alpha, stand north uh, 03, request to copy our ATC clearance to Aqaba. Inshallah, to Aqaba, we 26 right to follow the shield 6 Delta, flight level 150, code 1101. Your destination, uh, runway 26 right to shield 6 Delta, climb flight level 150, squawk 1101, Jordanian 86 Alpha. Correct, thank you. So, 1101 is set, 150 is set. And Lucille 6 Delta is set. Checked. Okay. So regarding our zero fuel weight today, 34080, zero fuel weight is 33607, confirm. confirm. I will set it 33067, confirm. 33607. We sign usually the logbook after we are done with the walk around, we make sure everything is okay. The be defects or any small defects that's a go item is okay for me then I sign the logbook we make sure of the transit check it should be valid for 36 hours we make sure also for the pre-flight checks is okay everything is okay and it's acceptable for me it's very important to double check the zero fuel weight both of us okay because you cannot get this wrong uh, it's very important during the calculation, we both do the calculation to make the error zero. We don't, we don't accept any errors. That's why we are two in the cockpit. We check everything and we double check everything. Okay, FMS cross check, thank you. Thank you. So let's check the speeds, please. So I get the flight plan with me here and I have to check everything. Crew, six to seven company. passengers. We have 42 passengers today. Total of 50. So we check it's RJ304, Echo Mike Bravo, Lima Al Saber. We check the dry operating weight, 29980, exactly the same. We check the take of fuel, 48. 4980 and we check also the chip fuel which is 1220 okay and we check the MAC takeoff 18.6 all acceptable for me so it is approved okay so I'll double check with you a dish takeoff weight will not it's uh, 38587 MAC takeoff 16.8 I'll check the okay. load sheet again after you. Yes, he double checked the load sheet again after me. This is for the calculations of uh, the speeds according to our weight. We both do it and then we cross check it with each others. Wind today is 2608 knots and we have outside temperature of 21 QNH 1012. And then it's optimal. Takeoff technique is going to be normal with ECS on, and takeoff weight is going to be 39,000. Okay, no cheat was checked. And run. Okay.
شوف لي طلع عنا شوي اختلاف so, Yeah. Usually on the Embraer, the APU, it takes fuel from the right fuel tank. That's why usually on ground, when the engines are not running, uh, the right uh, fuel tank um, uh, gets lower uh, fuel quantity than the left fuel tank. That's why we put the cross feed on low two, this to equalize the fuel and balance it between both. Uh, we do it manually. It's better and it's recommended. Now I check the speeds, and Hagob checked the speeds with the, himself at his uh, iPad, and he's cross-checking that I put the right speeds. So Hagob, yeah. right? So 85 point target, Yeah. 85.6. Yeah. So. So we have uh, takeoff thrust mode, takeoff two, eighty-five point six for the N1 target. Mm -hmm. Forty-one is the flex flaps one checked set on the MCDU. Uh, stabilizer trim is point seven up. Check. Checked. V1128, VR131, V2136, and 184 for the VFS. Great. Thrust checked. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so uh, everything is set. And we have all of the papers with us and the documents checked and ready for the briefing, Hago? Yeah. Okay, great. So, standard briefing, aircraft technical uh, status is checked, logbook is checked. We are aware of the latest FOL and OBs, nothing new. Okay, today we are going uh, to expect uh, runway 26 right for departure. It's low seal 6 delta 150, squawk 1101. We're going to check low seal uh, 6 delta departure later on. We are at north 03. Today we are going to push back facing to the east. Wind is no factor. Okay. It's 2608 knots. So after that we expect to vacate via Juliet, then uh, to uh, taxi via Juliet, then to the right on hotel for runway 26 right. Okay. Yeah. ECS will be on, and uh, as of a threat today, uh, we have on the NOTAMS bird migration, so that's why it's better to, as per company uh, policy, to follow uh, noise abatement departure one. It will have, we will have a lower speed, and we will uh, uh, vacate uh, the bird uh, zone, uh, congestion zone, which is around up to 3,000 feet very quickly. So it's better. So today is going to be, I'll do it uh, one, five, six. Okay. So it's going V2 to be. V2 plus 20. Yes, V2 plus 20. So NADP1, uh, and um, this is for departure. Um, for our SID today, Lucille 6 Delta. Okay. 20 3 Echo, RNAV SID. We're approved for RNAV uh, 1 GNSS. GPSs are working normally. And we check the GPS. Transition altitude. It's dated 20-3 echo, dated 22 of February Correct. 2019. Airport elevation 2395, 2400 we have. OK, if unable to comply with the altitude speed restrictions, advise ATC on startup. We are able. We are Expect non-standard departure if, if after departure 10 left or right to cubic alpha alpha VOR as appropriate to enter cubic alpha alpha VOR holding pattern advice ATC immediately. Checked. And this is in case of we are unable. So, uh, speed maximum 250 below 10,000. This is according to, and kindly to follow me okay. for Lucille 6 Delta and we 26 right, climb on 256 track to Alpha India 601. Then we will turn left direct to Alpha India 088, turn right, 182 track to Losil. Okay, Alpha India 601, maximum speed 230, 
at or above 3,300. Then Alpha India 088 at or above 7,000. Then Lucille flat level 150 or above with speed maximum 250. Checked. Okay. As for the emergency briefing, any malfunction before V1, I will call stop or go. In case of stop, I will, ca I will carry out necessary stopping action. You will... Call out ground spoilers, reverse green, I'll cancel or warning, contact ATC at 6 knots. I'll set flaps to 5. Yes, because it's Embraer 195. Once we complete, come to a complete full stop, parking brake is set on. Okay. And cabin crew at stations, then we will deal with our emergency. In case of go or any malfunctions after okay. V1, no actions yes. will be taken before 1,000 feet and flap 0 except check thrust at positive climb. I will confirm positive climb and gear up. Okay. Engine failure, fire, severe damage, or separation. Yes, 400. Back I will set heading and back 1000, flat level change, and autopilot on, accelerate, clean up the flaps. Flap the, zero. I will set speed to VFS because it's V2 plus 2. Yes, exactly. And at uh, flap zero, set power continuous, then bank off. Bank off, and uh, also then we will do memory items if there's any memory items after takeoff checklist, then applicable abnormal checklist. In case you have to come back and land, we are below our maximum landing weight. Yeah. Do you have any questions or anything to add? No, but uh, as a special consideration, the SID, uh, SID requires uh, GPS, so in yes. case of uh, GPS outage, we have to ask for a heading. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Great. During taxi out, we will have the sun directly into our face, so let's uh, yes. take care. Let's yes, we'll do now. Thank you very much. Yeah. ضيوفنا الكرام أسعد الله أوقاتكم بكل خير معكم الكابتن ديما الصابر بالنيابة عن الملكية الأردنية وتحالف العالم الواحد وزميلي الطيار هاكوب تورينيان المضيفة المسؤولة أن الآنسة أمل وبالنيابة عن بقية أفراد الطاقم أود الترحيب بكم أجمل الترحيب على متن طائرتنا إمبراير 195 والمتجهة بحول الله ورعايته إلى مطار الملك الحسين طيب الله ترى في العقبة تستغرق رحلتنا اليوم مدة 40 دقيقة نحلق فيها على ارتفاع 18 ألف قدم الطقس خلال الرحلة جيد وسأتحدث إليكم لاحقا بعد الإقلاع لأخبركم بآخر أخبار الطقس في العقبة وموعد الوصول المحدد كل ثقة أعزائي بأنكم ستستمتعون برحلتكم معنا اليوم شكرا لاختياركم الملكية الأردنية Our dear uh, lovely guests, uh, good morning, Sir Captain Dima Sauber talking to you. On behalf of Royal Jordanian Airlines, One World Alliance and my colleague, pilot uh, Hagob Soranyan, our flight manager, Ms. Amar, and on behalf of the rest of the crew members, I would like to welcome you on board our Embraer 195 bound to King Hussein International Airport at Aqaba. Our flight time today is going to be 40 minutes. We'll be cruising at 18,000 feet. With the weather during the flight is nice, and I shall talk to you later after departure. Now that to advise you with the latest weather at Aqaba and arrival time. I'm very sure, my dears, that you're going to enjoy flight with us today. Thank you, Susan Girl, Jordanian Airlines. Talk to you later. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Let's go. Basically, we uh, received a drop on the payload, so they uh, produced a new load sheet. We had to uh, just check yeah. it again. Let and me check it with you. It also changed yes. the uh, center of gravity of the airplane. So yes. We have to run the performance analysis again. Yes, again. It's edition two. Same. Uh, Same. Sixteen point one. Okay. Yeah. Point eight up. Checked. Yes, okay. Great. Okay. Let's have before start down to the line, please. Okay. Coming up. Before start checklist, passenger science panel. Set on. Pressurization panel. Is set. Oxygen masks. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Flight instruments. We have a 1012 reading 2340. Roll takeoff source. My side with runway heading 256. FMS 1, FMS 2. Your side 128, 131, 136, 184. Roll takeoff cross checked. Thrust levers. Idle. Before start, check this down to the Thank you very levers. much. Ground from cockpit. Thrust feed is set off. Ground. Park and brake is released. Confirm you have green lights. Green light up here. Okay. Below the line, please. Okay, for our checklist below the line, fuel quantity. Checked on board, uh, we have 5,200. Distribution checked and check with the flat plan. For the flat plan, we need uh, 
for the check with the flat gun, we need uh, 5240. Okay, 5200 distribution kilograms. Checked. And the MCDU? Set and cross check. Trim panel. Point it up, zero, zero, set. Doors and windows. Closed, closed. Closed. Closed and closed. Red beacon. On. Park and brake. Released. Before start checklist complete. Okay, ground from cockpit. Yes, ma'am. Clear to start one. Starting one. So, timing. Within eight seconds, we should have pressure. Oil pressure rising up. Checked. And two. Fuel flow. Check timing. And then one rising. minute, we should have ITT rising for Embraer 195. Okay, 50% and 2, 33 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to start number 1, starting 2. Okay, you have to start number two. Check. With the Embraer, it's unlike the other airplanes. We should guard the engine in case of any malfunction. We have to shut down the engine manually. The FATIC only shut down the engine automatically on certain cases, but it doesn't cover all the cases. So we should monitor manually and be ready for any malfunction to shut down the engine manually. Yes, ground. Roger, to normal engine start. Parking brake is set. Confirm you have clean uh, red light. Okay, we have two normal engine start. Please disconnect. Show me a signal. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Allah Salman. Please set take off laps one. Laps one is set. And APU off. APU is set. 10 target 85 point eight within the Flat controls. Pull up. Neutral. Full down. Neutral. Ailerons. Full left. Neutral. Full right. Neutral. Steer is off. Follow me with the rudder, please. Full left. Neutral. Full right. Queen the ground. Uh, Sabah Khair. Two day six one zero. Two day six one zero. Sabah Khair. Let's wait. Rudder steer off. Okay, I can give this. South uh, two six with total one four two. Ready for ATC clearance. Six one zero to destination two six left call the one Quebec flight level one five zero call zero seven zero six zero seven zero six in the squad initially flight level one five zero call the one Quebec to the Indian now six one zero two zero six one zero read back is correct thank you thank you two zero eight six Alpha taxi to holding point two six right Julie Turtle Kenna two one zero one four. Taxi holding point runway 26 right via Juliet and Hotel, Kilach 1014, Jordanian D6. 1014, set cross check. Juliet to the left, hotel to the right. Lifts. Right is clear. Left is clear. Right is clear. Let's go. Brakes checked. So maximum N1 target for taxi is going to be 40%. We're not allowed to go above this. It's 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 not recommended actually. Uh, in case sometimes you had to uh, for single engine taxi out. Sometimes we need some more power. It's a focal deviation. We have to write it down in case we went out of N1. 40% N1. Apron area, maximum speed should be 10 knots during taxi inside the apron. 
also for turning it should be 10 knots this is on dry taxiway and so clear to the dry left on Juliet. runways right oh, clear left is clear When it's with taxiway or with any contamination, it's five knots for the turn and right ten clear. knots clear straight. The right on hotel. Yes. Left is clear. Right's clear. Let's force with the radar, please. And this device, the clearance. Okay, runway 26 right, Lucille 6 Delta. We have first restriction Alpha Indy 601, max speed 230, at or above 3300. Climb flat level 150, and squawk is 1101. Set. Thank you. Nothing has changed since our last calculations and briefing. During taxi, we usually observe the brakes temperature, it's here. The best way for maintaining brakes temperature usually, it's a technique on most airplanes, such as Embraer and Airbus 320. It's like called 30 knots, 10 knots speed, 30 knots, 10 knots, which means you let the airplane accelerate to 30 knots, then you give it one uh, continuous braking to decelerate it to 10 knots. So uh, the less frequent you uh, press the brakes, uh, you will preserve their temperature. It will not go out, uh, go up. So it's 30, 10, 30, 10. So now I'm accelerating my airplane nearly to 30 knots. Then one application of brake to go back to 10. It's not good to ride on the brakes. And the Embraer is unlike the other airplanes. Uh, the right seat pilot, he does not have a teller to taxi the airplane. So, as you can see, 28 knots, then continuous smooth braking, we bring it down to 10. And in this condition, in such circumstances, very low chance for the brake temperature to go up. So hold short of runway 26, right? Hold Holding short of runway 26, right? 26, right, identified. This is the red bar. You are not allowed under any circumstances to cross a red bar. And if you want to cross the red bar, or if the tower gave us clearance to cross the red bar, we have to confirm with the tower red bar is on. Either he gave us clearance or he does not give us, maybe he has forgotten it, but this is a no-no. Julian, it's Alpha line up and wait 26 right. Line up and wait, runway 26 right, Jodhain 867. Line up so, and wait, line up and wait. Before takeoff, please. 26 right, identify Juliet Hotel, Kenneth 1014. See via Juliet Hotel, runway 26 right. Take off, okay. Runway not clear yet, there is an airplane, we'll be clearing the runway soon. Checked. For takeoff, checklist brake temperature. Checked. I guess. Checked. Transponder. TARA, flight plan my side, radio side. Takeoff configuration. Checked. For takeoff checklist completed, line up and wait. Thank you. Tell one day, take one package the runway by my continue Hotel Juliet North 22. I try to take the runway from the very fast beginning. Oh. Uh, the more runway Juliet, you leave behind two, two, is not in your interest. Eight, eight, so we take 
from the beginning. Can you repeat the parking position, Tavent 881? North 22. North 22, copy, Tavent 881. 296 Alpha Runway 26 Ranch, SS 12708 North, Airborne 128, Manana, Skate 4, Takeoff, Yamanana. Skate 4, Takeoff, Runway 26 Ranch, Airborne 128, Manana, Shrine, Jordanian 86. So, we'll for Takeoff, Airborne 128, Manana. Are you ready? Skate 4, Takeoff, check. Jismah, 40, stabilized, Embraer 195, Takeoff. Check thrust, please. Check. Check. Select now. Selected. Flight level change and autopilot on. Select. Flight level change, speed on elevator, autopilot on, and speed via V2 plus 20. I'm an approach to Al Khair today, the 86 Alpha Airborne. We'll suggest 598 tower 198 heavy landing 26 left. 198, Mansalama 598. So, Walker Jordan 86 Alpha radar contact confirm final level. Okay. Request uh, flight level 180 as final, Jordan 86 Alpha. Continue climb on air speed, passing 5000. 10 left direct back here. Climb flight level 180, passing uh, 5000 feet left direct to back here with the uh,
plus 5,000. Direct Bakir, please. I'll take it initially as a heading. Hey, Bakir, confirm. Yes, affirm. No. Still not available. Okay, past 5,000, accelerating VFS. Checked. And now is engaged. Flap zero, please. Speed checked and flap zero. Speed to 10. Flap zero. After take of checklist, please. After take of checklist, landing gear is up, start and flap zero. After take of checklist, complete. Thank you very much. Okay, 10,000. That's off. This is off. I'll keep the seat belt on, it's a little bit of turbulence. For the passengers and the cabin, approach and transition standard. standard set and cross checked out of 133 three now. Checked. Okay, I'll have number one if you could uh, call Akaba. Approach 92. Thank you very much. Ask for weather and ask for VORI uh, SNA01 if they have it. Thank you. Very much. Okay. So ILS uh, zero one. Mm -hmm. Jordan seven four five descent seven thousand one zero one four. Seven thousand one zero one four Jordan yeah. Seven four five. Kenesh one zero one four. Libyan two eighty three Amman. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Libyan two eighty three. Yeah. Kindly correct your call sign. You are coming as yes, Lima so Alpha two eighty three or Lima. Okay. Alpha. Please so add Alpha Lima Alpha Alpha. One thousand to go. We will do that. Libya it's better to usually to have first one, last one thousand spear. VS one thousand for the last one thousand. Speed on FMS two five zero. Check. How about now? Now you are coming as uh, Libyan 23, correct? We send a message you. for the our department uh, with the, yes, affirm. Yeah. With the departure. So I'll calculate the performance. I'll see. Five, Check. Bye bye. Okay, you have to. One, two, eight, five, uh, bye bye. Two, eight, 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 six, seven. Aman, control, two, eight, 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 Sabah al khair. Radar contact, call me for this end. We'll call you ready for the center, radar 86 alpha. Okay. So, first the seat belt is off, now the weather is good. Checked. For our cruise checks, speed 250. 180, 180 with the altitude. 179. Engine 70. parameters are okay. All checked. And can you to check the systems your side? Yes. In case of engine failure here, auto throttle off. Toga. Set TRS power continuous. Then we can descend to this level. Let's check. It was 38. Okay, 38,000 with Isa deviation plus 15. 38 plus 15. So we have no restrictions. It's 200. We are already maintaining 180. So we need to descend. In case of engine failure, I will turn. Go back to Amman. Weather is good. Here is a high terrain area. I will not continue in case of we had 
in case we had the rapid decompression with the memory items and we will descend but here is the high terrain area so we can descend to uh, 11,000 our minimum in root altitude over here so now basically I'm going to uh, perform a performance analysis for our landing uh, okay. at Aqaba uh, basically we'll input the conditions we have OJAC is the IKO identification identifier for Aqaba runway 01 our runway news and runway condition is dry mm -hmm. the wind is uh, 360 at 14 knots northerly wind 360 at uh, 14 14 okay continue and uh, the temperature is uh, 28 so we'll uh, be more conser conservative and increase it to 31 mm -hmm. QNH is 1010 mm -hmm. to be flaps 5 ice accretion we don't have any ice accretion uh, anti Oh, the anti-ice is off. Cat one will not take credit from thrust reversals. Yes, we'll and the make it at thirty-eight thousand. Would be thirty-eight. Thirty-eight thousand. Yep. Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Perfect. Allah fiki amal. So. Bena salam tak habibti. Okay, thank you. Allah you keep it Speed additive, I'll set uh, basically uh, five. Uh, five. We have 14 mm. headwind. So, we have seven mid-air. Yes. Okay. So, speed additive will be seven knots. Mm-hmm. What we get is the landing distance for uh, a variety of uh, auto brake selections. Yeah. We check the landing distance. And also mm -hmm. with maximum braking to check it's within the landing distance av distance available, mm -hmm. we get the uh, VRF our approach speed and VFS. VF mm -hmm. AC is the approach climb speed. It's mm -hmm. basically the speed that we maintain in case of uh, go around with a single engine mm -hmm. during the approach. And the go around climb gradient in case of one engine in operative, it's 9.6. For the yes. missed approach, we need 2.5. So. That's what we check, the landing speeds, the landing distance, and the one engine operative misapproach Great. gradient. Yeah, I'll set the landing speeds. Yes, and, and I will the check, them will check them here. Set them, please. Set. Thank you. You have controls? I have controls. And communication. And communications. I will prepare the airplane for landing. Okay, one three three, one four, one three three, one three three, one three eight. I will make it one three eight. And uh, the uh, the additive uh, for uh, the wind uh, after checking with the tower with the latest wind. Okay, one eight two with low braking. Okay. Okay, so ready for the briefing. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, going to be VOR ILS runway zero one. No terms is checked. Nothing on the no terms. Weather is checked. It's great weather. Okay. Uh, today we expect VOR ILS runway 01. It's a terrain, high terrain uh, air, uh, area, so the airport is inside between the terrain. It's uh, it's inside the terrain, like it's the, in the middle. It's in the valley. It's in the valley, yeah. exactly. So the uh, minimum uh, safe altitude is 8,000 within the airport reference point. Okay, 25 dME from the airport reference point. And uh, ab beyond that is going to be minimum air route altitude. We're gonna be 11,000. So, for ILS 13 of uh, April, uh, dated uh, 2018, confirm you have the same. Checked. One dash one. One one zero decimal one. Set my site, and your site to be set because be set, of the, yeah. the DME hold for the VOR. Okay, and uh, airport elevation is uh, 174. 200 is here. Okay. Uh, in, in case of uh, 
go around uh, we is going to be go around flaps two positive climb gear up speed up fms nav fms okay and for the fms to follow climb on radial zero one three alpha cubic bravo to eight thousand feet after passing six thousand three hundred turn right to back here and hold contact atc back here hold is going to be follow kindly left turn two 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 checked yep. okay for uh, the highest uh, terrain is going to be it's uh, a mountain on 5360 to the northeast of the airport okay so at the VOR we're going to be at back here I will be around 8000 okay then VOR 6300 or above okay then after that uh, we'll establish on radial 194 outbound is checked until 5 DME after the VOR I can descend to 5000 okay until 5 DME from Alpha Cubic Bravo I have the DME hold I will check double check with the FMS okay. after 5 DME we can descend to 4000 then it's going to be procedure 10 149 and then to the left and right 329 okay 329 we can descend 3200 feet okay after established on uh, heading 329 okay, from there we'll go, we will be intercepting the glide stop so there is two consideration we have to the left of us ELAT airspace and uh, to the south is going to be Jeddah FIR so that's why I put 13 DME arc from Alpha Cubic Bravo not to exceed it I set it here yes. and not to overshoot radial 206 from the VOR also is a consideration okay yes. in case of uh, localizer out is going to be glide slope uh, in case of glide slope out sorry it's going to be localizer only we'll add 50 to our minimum it's going to become 730 and we will descend at FPA 3 degrees once intercepting energy okay okay after landing we're going to vacate runway zero one via either delta or mike we'll check then to the right on alpha for our yeah, apron most probably it will be mike right yes most probably is mike for runway zero one it is 9843 feet okay and it has high intensity runway light center line light high intensity approach light system with puppy on the left okay regarding to our fuel 3.8 we need to land it with 3.1 we have also an extra of 700 and for our first alternate also we need to 1.8 so we have plenty of fuel around 2000 plenty of fuel we can go back even to a man with this fuel okay, okay. so i'm done with the briefing do you have any questions uh, not really. Do you have anything to add? I'd like to emphasize that it's uh, an unradar environment, so uh, we have to uh, strictly adhere to the uh, procedure. Yes. We have another airspace to our right, terrain on our left, unradar environment. Yes. And uh, the runway is 45 meters uh, yeah. width, so it's uh, narrower, narrower than what we are used to, actually. Yes, so it gives exactly. an impression that we are high. Uh, high. Illusion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I said, make sure to set the terrain on uh, my side mm -hmm. uh, because of the uh, terrain in the area. Yes. That's it. Yeah, thank you very much. So we're going to start this and after five minutes I will talk to the passengers and inform, inform them with the latest information and the weather yeah. at Aqaba. ضيوفنا الأعزاء أسعد الله أوقاتكم بكل خير معكم الكابتن مرة أخرى أود الترحيب بكم على مد طائرتنا وإخباركم بآخر أخبار رحلتنا اليوم حيث سنبدأ بالهبوط التدريجي نحو مطار العقبة بعد أربع دقائق من الآن نتوقع الوصول بإذن الله تعالى في تمام الساعة الثامنة والنصف صباحا بتوقيت عمان المحلي الطقس في العقبة اليوم جميل جدا ومشمل درجة حرارة متوقعة عند الوصول 28 درجة مئوية أود أن أشكركم أعزائي لاختياركم الملكية الأردنية أتمنى لكم إقامة ممتعة في العقبة شكرا لكم ويوما سعيدا 
Our dear uh, guests, uh, good uh, morning again. It's your Captain Dima talking to you. I would like to welcome you again on board and inform you the latest information of our flight today. As we shall start our gradual descent uh, towards uh, uh, Aqaba within four minutes uh, from now. And uh, we expect to arrive there at 30 minutes past uh, 8 uh, a.m. Amman local time. Weather today at Aqaba is very nice and sunny. Temperature upon arrival will be 28 degrees Celsius. I would like to take this opportunity, my dear, to thank you very much for choosing Gulf Jordanian Airlines. Wishing you a very pleasant stay at Aqaba. Thank you all and have a good day. Back with you. So, uh, welcome back. Final uh, discussion it's 9,000 feet. We are less than by Bakir, we call him outbound leaving Bakir. Okay, thank okay. you very much. So, uh, basically, the procedure is uh, retrieved from the FMS. The aircraft is going to fly it uh, uh, by following the flight management system. Uh, however, regulations uh, require us to uh, continuously monitor uh, the approach uh, using grow data. So, we have to tune uh, the uh, VOR frequency, which is Alpha Quebec uh, Bravo, and we have to follow the uh, 193 radial outbound to check that the airplane is follow following the correct uh, radial for the procedure. So basically, I'm pilot flying and he is pilot monitoring. I fly, he monitor, he should be where uh, we should have high CRM. We talk about everything. We agree on everything, and um, also he will be monitoring me, and in case of any deviation or anything that he wants to add, or he should, uh, he, he will advise me, actually. So he's monitoring me, they call pilot flying, pilot monitoring. Before, it used to be called P PF, pilot flying, and PNF, pilot non-flying. But nowadays, in order to emphasize on the uh, necessity uh, of uh, both uh, teamwork and uh, uh, on uh, both inputs and on the high necessity of the CRM in the cockpit is called pilot monitoring and pilot flying. It's a new uh, naming. So it's all about teamwork. It's all about For teamwork. For the sake of safety. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we are two in the cockpit. Yeah, it is very exciting because Aqaba is exactly, it's like a valley and we have the high mountains here. Look at the mountains. So it's inside, in, underneath the mountains. It's like in a valley and high terrain around it. Also, it's very close to two FIRs, Ilat and Jeddah. So you have to be very precise when shooting the approach. Also with the side viewing now, you will see these mountains. In two minutes, you will see the beautiful sea. So I really love this destination. So uh, basically you have uh, an FIR to uh, another boundary yes. to our right, which is very close within one nautical mile. And it also has Elat Airport. Uh, yep. To our left we have mountains. Okay, so the procedure is strictly designed to be flown at uh, speed 180 knots so as to be contained within the protected area. To stay away yes. from the, uh, uh, the FIR, the other boundary, and to the left, the terrain. Yep. So the minimum altitude over Bakir, which is the initial approach fix, is 8,000 feet, which is the minimum yep. safe altitude. However, uh, ATC today informed us that there is a military activity. Yeah. So we have to maintain 9,000 feet as minimum altitude. So we can descend now 6,300 feet. Checked. And we had the permission to do the approach with speed to... We had the permission to do speed uh, 210 or 200 because we don't want to configure the airplane early. If we want to go speed 180, we have to do it with speed with flaps 1, speed 180, we'll burn more fuel. So. As long as we had the permission, 10, we can do feet. with the clean speed. 10,000. 10,000 check. Approach checks, please. Approach checks, passenger science panel. Set on. Pressurization pa uh, altimeters. Altimeters is 10, one zero, one zero set and cross check. 1010, one zero, one zero, cross check. Approach check is completed. Thank you very much. You have lock one your side and India Alpha, Quebec Alpha. Identified and your side to go. To go. Move 
zero one zero to call him procedure ten completed inbound. Check. So after Akaba, we can descend to five thousand feet past Akaba VOR. So due to the airspace to the right, we can shoot uh, or overshoot the Yes, that's airspace. why Just before doing the procedure 10, I will decelerate yeah. and have a speed 180. Thank so you. So radial 206, radial 206, which is depicted here as well. We have the other side. Look how close it is. After this point, we can descend to 4,000 feet, set. Yep. Flaps one, please. From where? From the ship. Roger. From the ship? Yeah, okay. Ship? Ship? Yes. So, procedure 10, 149, and we'll start timing 1 minute 15 seconds. So in order not to overshoot, let's have flaps two, please. Flaps two. We don't want to overshoot 13 DME. We don't want to overshoot radial 206. As we said, we have two FIR boundaries. As you can see how close we are to the terrain and to the mountains. Alt green. Our altitude, second one is going to be 3,200. Not now, we will descend after we are established on heading uh, three to Niner. Okay, established on 329er, you can descend now. Flight Check. level change, speed on elevator. Check. So we are clear for the approach. Localizer class of arms. Localizer alive. Check. Localizer captured. Advise him kindly. Check. Procedure 10 completed. Uh, Alpha Jordan 86 Alpha, Roger, continue approach, report 5 miles. Continue approach, we'll call you 5 miles uh, inbound, Jordan 86 Alpha. To continue approach. Yeah, 
Okay, so speed of thrust, speed on 60, and glass top is alive. So 1200 maximum, we should be stabilized. I will give myself an extra 500, 1500 above airfield elevation. Glass top captured. Checked. And it's going to be 8000 feet. Yes, Good. 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 Gear down, flaps 3, please. Gear down, speed check, flaps 3. Coming through advice. Check. Flaps 5. So check here the wind with him please and yep. tell him uh, 5 miles out so we will set the V approach okay. according to the wind. Five miles about, Alpha, Alpha, Roger Sierra, you are inside the clear to land runway 01, the wind 01016 knots. Okay, 01016, let's check how how much on the Embraer, unlike other airplanes, we should correct uh, the V approach according to the wind manually. So uh, we take half uh, crosswind, yes, uh, half crosswind. Let's add three knots in this case to our V approach. It's going to be 141. Okay, it's not like ground speed uh, mini uh, on the Airbus. I flew the Airbus before. For uh, landing checklist. For landing checklist, landing gear. Down. It's down, stand flap. Five set. Five set for landing checklist completed. Check. Thank clear you. to land. We clear to land. So it's mostly headwind. And we are approaching 1000 for east stabilized. Last 1000. Check. Stabilized. In case of go around, straight ahead, 6,300 6, on radial 013 yes. Alpha Quebec. Exactly, no turning below reaching 6,300. Autopilot. Autopilot. Thank you. Approaching minimums. Check. Minimums. Continue. Two hundred. Checked. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Transporters, first 
Auto break. Eight minutes. I'm going to pick it via mic. Jordan 86 Alpha, vacate the runway first for continue taxi in via mic and Alpha, alhamdulillah. Vacate first right, continue taxi mic, Alpha, Jordan 86 Alpha.
left is clear. To the right on Alpha. The right is clear. Yep. Marshaller inside. Left is clear. What's this to turn? Left is clear. Right is clear. Lights off, please. Lights off. Lights off. Right is clear, all the way. Check. Break is set. Two minutes. Parking brake is set. If you bleed is on. Shutting down one. Shutting down two. Fuel flow is zero. ITT going down. And one. Going to zero. Off. Shut down, look, please. Shut down checklist. Parking brake. Set on. Engine start. Stop selectors. Stop. System three electric pump alpha. Off. Shut down checklist complete. Thank you very much.